Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Cadillac Driven. Welcome back to the channel. For everybody who's following me, thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe so you don't miss another video. And everybody, please hit the like button on the way out. That's going to help the channel to grow. All right, we decided to do a POV video. This is our first one, so we decided we're going to give it a shot. And we're going to be talking about my experience with and driving the Cadillac CT6. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's get this video started now. All right, you all, I'm on my way home. As you can see, it's about to start raining. It is overcast right now. I was trying to beat the weather home so I could do the yard. That doesn't look like it's about to happen so thank you guys for riding home with me so let's talk about this right my experience uh, with and driving the Cadillac CT6 I have to say has been a great experience on top of it I'm gonna have to say that this is probably the best car that I have purchased right now I've had a car uh, the Hyundai Genesis which was a beautiful luxury sedan right but I'm gonna have to say that Hyundai does not have anything on the Cadillac CT6 in my opinion when we talk about the exterior look of this car Cadillac nailed it take a look at the front facial right you have this waterfall lighting that looks absolutely gorgeous which adds to a timeless design which means that for days and decades this car is still going to look absolutely beautiful then you got the waterfall piping led lights that come down on the side of the car which really helps to give this a menacing look cadillac nailed the front fascia of this car now looking at the side profile again a sleek design you have luxury blended with sports if you look at the mirrors Cadillac did an awesome job overall with the creation of the exterior part of this car. So I have to tip my hat off to Cadillac, but that's too bad that Cadillac uh, stopped making the Cadillac CT6 because I thought this was one of their greatest creations. Now, as we look at this car, it transitions, right? To the inside of the cabin on how you feel about driving this car right because the look of the car is everything it's kind of like you know um, i'm gonna go out i'm gonna buy a white tee uh some brand new white gym shoes some nice blue jeans right i look nice i may not have a lot of money but i look nice the same thing about the cadillac ct6 on the outside versus the inside and the reason i say that is that when we talk about comparing this to let's say mercedes-benz or bmw uh this cabin so far as the luxurious feel and experience on the inside is nothing in comparison comparison to what they offer but they do offer something right you get led lighting on the inside of this car you got the door seal that lights up you have the approach lighting that when you walk up to this car Everything lights up. The door handles lights up. The LED lights on the front end of the car lights up. Back lights. The uh, mirror lights. Everything lights up. Some lights in the cabin lights up. So you do get that luxurious look and feel out of the Cadillac CT6, right? You can't discount this at all. But the ride quality is through the roof. Now, I'm riding on 19-inch rims, tires. And I got a very smooth ride, right? Not as smooth as if you have had 18s on here, but the ride quality is still nice. It goes over broken pavement with no problem. You hardly even notice that you went over bumps. And I like that about the suspension on this. Now, from what I understand, Cadillac is a company that does very well with suspension right and it did a really good job with this one this one does not have the magnetic ride control uh, like what you would get on the platinum model of the Cadillac CT6 but the ride is definitely top notch so if you're looking for a car that rides uh, uh, superb then the Cadillac CT6 is going to be your car now I have the 3.6 engine which has uh, a 335 horsepower I still get enough power to get on the ramp uh, with no problem. This thing accelerates pretty good. Not like if you would have, have had uh, a car with a 400 horsepower engine, but definitely the Cadillac CT6 performs with this 335 horsepower. Uh, and I haven't had any problems out of it since. The transmission, uh, I think Cadillac could have did a, uh, a good job on it. In the beginning, I had uh, some jerks. Maybe I had to ride out the kinks uh, because now I don't have that um, jerkiness like I did when I first got the car uh, in 2008. 18. Now, I've had this car for three years, and all three years it performs. Now, one of the things that I've, I've been experiencing is 
I believe I've been possessed by the badge, right? There's something about this Cadillac badge that really makes it feel good about driving a Cadillac and or a Cadillac CT6. When I walk away from my car, and this is something that I'm not trying to do. I do a double take, you know? No, it's not like, hey, I can't believe that I got this car. No, this car is absolutely gorgeous. So I have to take a look at it again. Fellas, you know how we do when we out there. I'm talking about the guys who are not married, right? We do a double take when we see a beautiful woman, right? And that's what I do with the Cadillac CT6. Not knowing, right? I just love looking at my car. So for those out there who have the Cadillac CT6 can know what I'm experiencing when I talk about the double take of this. This car looks new to me every single day. I feel like I'm driving a brand new car every time I step in this car. So Cadillac did a really good job. The cabin feel is nice. Again, you got ambient lighting on the inside. You got wood grain. I like that Cadillac went the route with putting the uh, seat controls on the door, which they stopped doing on the Cadillac XT6 and the Cadillac XC5. I really don't understand that because it gives it a better look and it makes it convenient when you need to move your seat up or back. But overall, with the 10.2 uh, inch uh, infotainment center, you got everything you need. The dash lights up beautifully. I think Cadillac has done a really good job considering this was their first sedan in years that they put out that put a competition on notice all right you all listen that's going to be the end of the video uh to sum this up i love the cadillac ct6 so if you're in the market for a car that looks beautiful uh that every time you see this car you're going to be in love with it uh then cadillac the cadillac ct6 is going to be your car no matter whether you get the 16 through the 18 or the 19 through the 20 uh you cannot go wrong but and picking the Cadillac CT6 is going to be all about design. I think the 2018 Cadillac CT6 has a timeless design so far as the front fascia is concerned. Listen, you all, hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on the front fascia of the 2016 through the 18 and the 2019 through 2020. Let me know which one you prefer. Now, if you're thinking about getting a used, now we're talking about used, a used Cadillac CT6 in comparison to a used BMW, a used uh, Mercedes Benz. Of course, you're going to save some money on the Cadillac CT6. So if you want a beautiful, uh, nice riding luxury SUV, uh, and Cadillac didn't pay me to say this, listen, you're going to get a great experience uh, and you're going to be proud of the purchase that you make if you buy the Cadillac CT6. I'm just telling you from my experience. All right, you all, that's going to be the end of the video. Hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. Don't forget to hit the like button. Help Cadillac Driven to grow. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to see you all at the next video. Let me get home before it starts raining. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life, you all. Have some fun. And remember to remember to be safe.